Hey guys, uh, I've got the real Apple Watch Milanese loop strap here and the fake Milanese loop here. You can already tell the difference that the real one is a bit sort of greyer or lighter than the fake black one. Um, there's a couple of differences. The fake one has like a silver magnet and the real one has like a space black magnet in it so there's one way to tell already and when you turn it over the lugs that hold the strap in are black like that whereas on the fake one well you can see that one there they're silver and they're also not as, they don't feel like as good a quality and they're a little bit sloppy. Like when it locks into the watch, it's a little bit sloppy compared to the, to the genuine. Um, the main way to tell a real one from a fake one is on one of the lugs, the lug with the loop in it, like there, the loop, has a tiny, tiny inscription that says assembled in China. And I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but it's really, really small. Hopefully you guys can see that. There you go, just there. Assembled in China. And on the other end, on the inside that would be against your wrist, there's a tiny in the same writing there's a tiny little 42 millimeter, there it is just there, engraved on that side of the band. Now, as far as I know, that Apple are the only ones that do that. No one else, like you can see this one here, the fake one, there's absolutely nothing written on that anywhere or on the inside of that. I don't think they go to the trouble or to do that for the fake ones. Um, another way to tell the difference between a real Milanese loop and a fake one is if you put it on the watch you can see what I was saying there about how tight like it doesn't move sideways in the watch and it's quite firm in all directions there nice neat um, nice and tight around the watch itself so another way to tell a real one is when you sit it on the bench, oh, it stuck to itself. When you sit it on the bench like that, it will actually stay up. But when you swap it to, just put that there. When you put the fake one on, Slipped out there. And you put the fake one on, you can see how like it just doesn't it just doesn't sit as nice, really, as the Apple Watch one. And it's it moves side to side a fair bit. You can see that there. Yeah, look at that. So when you sit the fake one on, it tends to want to, sticking to the side, well there's, there's another way you can tell the sides aren't as nicely um, engineered as the, the real version. See how it doesn't want to, wow, it's really sticking to that tablecloth. It doesn't want to sit as well, it tends to want to bunch up and fall over. And also, the, I've been told the magnet, well the magnet feels fairly strong on this fake one. But the magnet won't stick to oh no, it does stick to that. 
the magnet on the outside of the genuine one won't actually stick very well to other metals. You can see it's only just, just grabbing that. But on the fake one, you can see it grabs that really strong. So if, you've, if you're working around anything metal, um, the fake one will stick to anything metal, whereas the genuine one will tend not to stick to anything metal. And I've been told that that's because the magnet is like shielded on the real one, whereas they don't go to the trouble of doing that on the fakes. But there you have it, a few ways to tell the difference between a genuine Apple Watch Milanese loop and a fake one. So if you guys are buying one on eBay or um, buying one on Gumtree or anything like that, just be aware to check for the assembled in China 42 millimeter on that side and that it doesn't stick very well to anything metal on that side of the watch band. It will stick very well on that side of it for obvious reasons. You want, don't want the band to fall off, but it's very well shielded on that side. You can see it's only just, like you can just drag that off of the watch band. And with the fake one, if you were to try and do that, you can see it's gripping it very well. Just something to keep in mind. But um, yeah, that's how you tell the difference between a fake Apple Watch Milanese band and a genuine. Hope this has helped you guys. Thanks for watching.